Hello, everybody. I am Dr. Sarah Wooten, and I am here to talk to you about hairballs. So a couple of months ago, I made a video all about vomiting in cats, right? I covered so many different reasons why these animals vomit, and I felt pretty good about myself after I created this video until I started getting some messages in my inbox uh, about uh, why did I not cover hairballs? And I was like, what, what, why would I cover one of the most common conditions in cats that causes, why wouldn't I do that? And then I got a message from my editor with more of your messages saying, Hey, Dr. Sarah Wooten, you neglected to talk about something that's really, really important. And I was like, Oh my gosh, I can't believe I forgot it. So this is my official apology video to all of you and a thanks to all of you for bringing to my attention that I neglected to talk about, oh, I don't know, one of the most common causes of vomiting in cats. So thank you for your messages. Thank you for your mindfulness. And because of that, I decided to make an entire video all about these slimy little creatures that sometimes invade our houses. Uh, and uh, yeah, we're going to talk about what they are. We're going to talk about what causes them. And then we're going to talk about ways to prevent them or treat them. Okay. All right, let's get going. So what are hairballs? Well, it's normal for your cat to swallow hair as a result of grooming, right? Normally cats will swallow hair and it passes through them and comes out the other side just fine, right? But when hair builds up for any reason in the esophagus or in the stomach, and the esophagus is the tube that connects the mouth to the stomach, right? Then your cat solves that problem by vomiting the hair back up. Voila, you get a hairball. So what do these hairballs look like? Well, gross, yes, and they vary from cat to cat, um, but in general, they look like they look like a slimy wad of hair and stomach juice that is shaped and wrapped up like a little hairy cigar. It's very gross. They range in size from tiny, like one inch, to some of the bigger ones. I mean, if you've seen these jobbers, five inches, right? And they are usually a little bit darker than the actual color of your cat's fur because they're stained with stomach acid and dyes from food that gets mixed in there, right? So what does it look like when your cat brings up a hairball? Well, again, every cat is different. Um, some cats will vocalize very loudly before uh, they bring up a hairball. Others are little secret hairball bringer uppers and you'll just find the hairball, right? Lying around your house, usually on your carpet, sometimes on your bed. In general, if you catch your cat in the act, uh, they're going to be making active retching and heaving sights and sounds. I mean, they look like they're actively trying to bring something up right before they actually upchuck the actual hairball. So some cats are more predisposed to hairballs than others, right? So you've got your cats with the long hair. Um, these cats are more likely to have hairball problems than cats with short hair. Hairballs may also be more of a problem during the spring when cats are shedding, right? Um, and some cats, they just like to groom more often. So they predispose themselves to hairballs. In general, it's not uncommon for a cat to vomit a hairball, especially during shedding season, uh, every couple of weeks, right? But if your cat is having hairballs more often, or if your cat is going bald, or has otherwise abnormal red, itchy, or crusty skin, or if your hair, if your cat just has a lot of hair in their poop, or if they have problems with constipation, or a loss of appetite, or they're sleeping more, or they're vomiting in general, in addition to bringing up hairballs, it's time to talk to a vet because even if a cat vomits regularly, it is never normal. So some cats vomit so often, we think it's normal for them, but anytime a cat is vomiting, they feel sick, right? So that is a good time to talk to your veterinarian if you're noticing any of those things. 
or you're noticing a lot of hairballs, right? If you do end up talking to a vet about your hairball problem, um, you take your cat in, they're going to conduct a physical exam, and it's possible they may want to run some tests. Sometimes a cat can have problems with hairballs because they're chronically dehydrated. Uh, from say kidney disease, which is a very common cause of dehydration in older cats. Other times hairballs can actually get stuck in the esophagus or in the stomach and can cause really painful blockages. So you never know, but it is important to get a vet involved when your cat isn't feeling well or if they are having a lot of hairballs. If you've had your cat checked out and everything is chill and good and your cat's healthy, then you can try using hairball remedies to try to treat and prevent hairballs in your cat. All right. So I have three, three tips to help you with that. All right. Number one, you're going to have to deal with the hair. So brushing your cat regularly, and that means two to three times a week to remove excess hair can really help reduce problems with hairballs. If your cat is shedding, you're going to want to brush your cat every single day if you can. This reduces the amount of hair that your cat swallows when they are grooming themselves. It's also a really nice way to bond with your cat. Uh, if you want these sessions to go well, keep them fairly short, keep them positive, follow up with a treat or a play session um, and try not to pull too hard. Don't pull at all on the hair or your cat is, they're going to tell you that they don't like it, right? If your cat tolerates bathing, some cats don't mind, right? Wash your cat with a shampoo that is actually marketed to reduce shedding once a month during heavy shedding periods, right? Some people say that those actually do help. Um, if you are grooming during the shedding season, it can help to use a grooming rake. One of the most common brands out there is the Deferminator, but there are generic knockoffs for that as well. Those uh, help to remove all the loose dead hair off of your cat before your cat decides to groom themselves and swallow that and then bleh, have a hairball, right? All right, number two, here's my second, second tip. Um, use a product that will help coat the hairball and slide it on through so it can come out the other end. Okay. So if you're notice, noticing increased hairballs in, during the shedding season in, in particular, one of the products that's out there is called Laxatone. Laxatone, L-A-X-A-T-O-N-E. Uh, you can get it over the counter. You can get it online. You can get it pretty much anywhere. And a little goes a long way with this stuff, right? It's kind of this uh, oily... Um, it's oily substance. And what you can do is just take out a tiny bit, like a pea sized amount and put it on the tip of, tip of your cat's nose. Uh, or you can put it like on their paws, like right here on this part. Okay. Just a tiny bit. And what will happen is the cat will lick the laxatone either off of their nose or off of their paws. And then it will coat those hairballs and help them to slide on out. Uh, if you want to do this the DIY uh, kind of cheap way, when I was a kid, uh, we used to use petroleum jelly and it did the same thing, right? So cat starts creating hairballs on the front porch. My mom would take a tiny little dab of some petroleum jelly, put it on the nose or put it right here. No more problems with hairballs. Okay, so that's my second tip. Number three, consider changing your cat cat's food to a product that is marketed specifically to reduce shedding, right? These foods add fiber and other nutrients that are supposed to help your cat have a healthy hair coat and a healthy GI tract. Hill's Science Diet makes several hairball formulas. So does Iams, Purina, Blue Buffalo, Royal Canin, um, even Temptations makes cat treats that uh, are supposed to help reduce hairballs. There are a lot of options out there. So consider feeding your cat something like that, um, especially during the time of year when you are dealing with a hairball problem. So there you have it. I have covered the, one of the most common causes of vomiting in cats. Thanks to you, my beautiful viewers, for keeping me on track and helping me to remember things that sometimes veterinarians' brains get a little bit busy. So thank you so much for watching. If 
this uh, video has been helpful, please leave me a comment. If there's something you'd like me to cover, please leave me a comment. I don't know, maybe if you are a cat lover or a philophile of some type, you could hit subscribe and then come back and uh, see my other videos where I just present veterinary information to help you. I hope you have a beautiful day and I will see you again soon.